Am I wearing red or am I just covered in blood? Maybe a little both? I'm like some weird shotgun Santa. Ho, oh, ho, oh, holy crap. Yeah, it's blood. What's up guys, and welcome back to Paint the Town Red. The only game where one minute you could be on an alien planet begging for the life of your comrade to a giant king, and then the next you're running back to the KFC that screwed up your order so that you can pull a Super Saiyan Karen move and drop kick the manager in the neck. It may be one of the most versatile games ever made. We'll start things off with a level called Not So Normal Factory. And honestly, after having played enough Paint the Town Red Factories, I'd be more surprised if this was normal. Like, if people just showed up to work, did remedial jobs, worked their 9 to 5, punched out, that kind of thing, I'd just go into this assuming that they're making, like, sentient toilets, or dildo samurais, or self-vibrating tables, beds to cry on, in public. This is a really weird opening for a factory. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, hi guys. <laughs> is it because I unnecessarily kicked the door in? It's always really off-putting to walk into a room and then have everyone stop what they're doing and just stare at you. I, I don't really know what to say. I just kind of mumble. Oh, I see. So these must be assembly lines. Ooh. I actually had to barge in here unannounced today because this is an inspection. Now, I'm from corporates and we've received a few hints that the workers around here aren't wearing the proper safety equipment. And if you're gonna be working on wrenches and crowbars and flaming swords from the sixth ring of hell, then you should definitely be wearing neck protection. Which you are not. I don't know if it would have exactly helped you with the whole shoulder injury, but still, Oh, guys, don't kick up a stink. I'm just trying to make an example, okay? You don't all need to get fired. I mean, if you really want it to be this way, you know you're not gonna get your severance package. I'm just gonna get your package severed. Ooh, here we, ow, rude. Why would you guys make this loaded? <laughs> Seems like a huge mistake is, it's, oh, I was gonna say, is he still sleeping? But seems to be stuck on the bed. So you're trying to tell me it's not actually a bed for sleeping on in public? It's some kind of interdimensional prison? <laughs> the floor is lava and you just got melted. You see, now I'm second guessing what the vibrating table is. <laughs> and I don't think I really want to find out. It, it, it's probably best that I just keep to my work and inspect the rest of the factory. What is, ow, okay, rude. It's locked. I've never seen that in Paint the Town Red before. How am I supposed to find a key by rummaging through people's pockets when I can't even find their legs? <laughs> this is not gonna work. Can I? Oh yeah, there we go. I think the vibrating table is guarding the key. I just assumed it was random crap sitting on top of it. Please don't blow me up. Okay, good, great. Also, I managed to find this among all the wreckage. <laughs> Is that the best way of describing it? Are you guys gonna let me open the door or not? Can you, yeah, take one big step back. Thank you very much. There we go, excuse me, pardon me, coming through. <laughs> Just trying to inspect the rest of the factory. There we go. Man, oh man, love having an assault rifle in this game all of a sudden. <laughs> Uh, unless it runs out of ammo real quick. I don't suppose you guys made ammo in here, did you? Oh, we found our way into the cafeteria. Chaos definitely got here before us. <gasps> what? Oh, here we go. Yeah, we need that. Why are people sleeping in here? This is such a strange factory. I don't get it. <gasps> if I tase you guys in the butt, would that help? I think that helped. Strange, that usually helps. Employees only. Well, I'm definitely an employee, so we're gonna be kicking this door in. Oh, okay. They're just uh, preparing food and dishes and, and, and clothes, I guess? Doing the laundry? <laughs> oh man, I gotta leave someone alive. I can't just rehire everyone. This is gonna take freaking ever, come on. We got, oh, a little bit of a party, huh? Well, don't mind me, just, uh. <laughs> Gonna ever so quickly crash this. Ooh, yeah. That sounds good. 
I think they updated the smite sound effects again, and it shows... Uh, it reminds me of Command and Conquer's Orbital Beam Cannon. It's so, is that what it's called? Orbital Beam Cannon? Ion Cannon? Why can't I remember that all of a sudden? Ow, ow, what the, do you mind? Oh, where did these, oh, I didn't kill you guys. I could have swore that I did. Do you regret your decision? <laughs> Stuff falling from the ceiling because it's stuck. Okay, I think that's everyone. Yeah, party has been crashed and I'm stuck in here forever. That's fair. Our next level is called Delta 7405, which I believe is the name of a plane that crashed not too far from here. Like the story that we're given is that we're some kind of Arctic base. We received an SOS that a plane was crashing, so we hopped into our train to go rescue them, and then the train crashed, which then left not too many survivors which means now we need to both rescue people and be rescued ourselves. <laughs> and I can only imagine what kind of weird stuff is gonna be waiting for us out here. Holy crap. This level took like five minutes to load. Normally they take like five seconds, so I can only imagine what's out there. When you see all these frozen bodies scattered about, you might be quick to think to yourself, wow, our cart really had it bad. But trust me, some other carts had it far worse. Isn't that right, Hero 6175? Man, I'm really happy that they labeled all of us with numbers. It should make the subtraction to figure out how many people are left a whole lot easier. Now is not the time to cuddle for warmth. Especially when his face is cuddling with your balls. What's wrong with you? Dead people aren't warm. See, this guy knows what's up. Oh my god, there's so many of them. So, what's the... Plan. You're asleep. Okay, great. Well, I guess I'm the one in charge. I keep thinking that I'm seeing movement among the bodies, but then I realize that their heads are on backwards. <laughs> I think that crash may have given me a mild concussion. Or maybe the isolation is driving me crazy. I guess I'm just gonna go back and call for help. No, SOS the SOS. We'll just chain some people along. Anything weird happens, I'll be sure to let you guys know. I do not have a good feeling about this. <laughs> Maybe we can find that plane? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did not sign up to hardcore parkour. Fortunately, there's very adequate lighting out here in the wilderness. Weird. <laughs> okay. Do we have here? It's a bunch of rocks. Who would have guessed you'd find rocks out in the wilderness? I honestly do think I am crazy. I'm clutching an axe like it's giving me oxygen. When in all reality, there shouldn't be anything weird out here, right? I mean, ancient frozen ruins aren't weird in the slightest. I'm sure there wouldn't be anything supernatural hanging around here. I'm so friggin' paranoid. Oh! Wait, this might be good, right? This might be our base! We might actually be able to use that thing to call for help! Oh, or not. Come on. Why is there gotta be a Snorlax-sized rock in the way? Uh, I got nothing. I don't suppose I could just squeeze underneath. Hey, there we go. Okay, one step closer to salvation. <gasps> Please tell me I remembered my keys. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. I don't know how to DJ the code into this thing. <gasps> Come on. Uh, no, I'm not getting underneath that. All right, then. I guess we could try to parkour our way around. Oh, crap. No. Oh, okay. Hi! Is this not my base? Oh. Uh, yeah, your friend is really... Oh, ooh, you're kind of cute. Okay, hold on a second. Let me talk to the Eskimo woman. Listen, I'm 95% sure this is my base, but I can't be 100% sure. Hey, 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 no damaging the goods. So, what is it you guys do out here? Cuddle for warmth? You interested? Come on. That's a very manly voice, ma'am. Uh, I'm gonna leave you and your anime eyes alone. I'm just gonna see what exactly is going on around here. Anything? I got a wrench. Ooh, got a Bowie knife? No, no, excuse me, coming through. I just wanna use your phone. You, or, or maybe your toilet. I'm pretty sure I crapped myself about 10 times during that crash. Is your friend 
Sleeping? Oh, it's another one. Okay, well then I don't need you. I'll just go with the nappy one. You seem far less aggressive. <laughs> you wait right there. Hopefully you're not frozen solid. That would make the, the whole baby making a whole lot more awkward. <laughs> we need to repopulate, okay? It's quite clear that something terrible is happening here and that humanity is on the brink. Maybe some kind of ice age. So I definitely can't go. Surprise stabbing everybody in the face. <laughs> just some. For a game without fall damage, I really hate getting up high without railings. Maybe this guy's trying to install some railings. Hey, hey, hey. No surprises, mustache. I could hear that yell echo, and yet this guy's got no idea. <laughs> You're gonna cause an avalanche. You need to calm down. Uh, not getting in there. Okay, then. Windows are blocked, too. Strange. I don't suppose I could just kind of boop. There we go, and then I can make that jump, right? <laughs> See, it's all in the noise. I swear I'm losing my mind. I could have swore I just saw a figure there, but there definitely wasn't. I, I honestly think the cold might be getting to me. Oh. Oh, no. No, this is where things get weird, right? When you guys were like tunneling into some ancient MacGuffin to fi Oh, never mind, it's just a tunnel that leads to the other side. Okay, then. Not quite as monstrous as I would have expected. <laughs> so far, it's been, you know, incredibly normal. Just a bunch of natives not really appreciating the fact that I'm walking up and kicking them in the face. Maybe they're the ones who were doing this. Right? This actually does look like it was our base and that they showed up here and trashed it. So maybe the locals are the one causing all the crashes? I'm getting forest vibes right now. <laughs> it's really interesting. Uh, oh, yeah, okay, well, who wants to get kicked off first? Actually, you know what, why don't we just, uh, skibush. Well, oh, oh, I wasn't expecting them to bounce off the far walls. <laughs> I'll be taking that, thank you for, come on now, why are you gonna be like that? There we go, I don't wanna kill them, I, I just wanna incapacitate them, I say, as I'm probably gonna kill them. Is this a gondola? You gotta be kidding me. And I'm gonna have to take the hard way down, aren't I? Of course. Let me guess, this thing doesn't work. If anything, it's probably infested with bad people. And death. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll take the hard way. <laughs> Quit twitching, you're freaking me out. <gasps> I really hope we can find the plane survivors. Like, just finding a friendly face would go a long way. As long as it's not eaten. I really doubt they would turn to cannibalism that quickly, right? Like, I mean, I was pretty close. As soon as the train crashed, I thought to myself, probably gonna eat Fred, but at the same time, Fred didn't have a blue key. Oh, did I miss something? I don't think so. Maybe I need to come back here? There's probably a really dope weapon or something like that in there. <laughs> okay, keep eyes peeled. That is not the word to use around cannibals. Keep your eyes open for some kind of blue key. Hello? Guys, come on. We don't need to be like this. At the very least, you need to not worry about the fact that your bloodline will continue through me. Okay? We will mix, and then our differences will be forgotten over time. I wonder how the other train survivors are doing right now. Do you think they're just bunkered down waiting? Or do you think they've become native poop? There's a strong possibility that they were eaten and turned to poop. What did I just... Is that me? I think that's the sound of my massive balls dragging on the floor when I crouch. How strange. <laughs> I hope it is. Otherwise, there's something in here that I can't see, and that is far more terrifying. This looks like a pretty big base. Oh, dear. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Hi! What the hell? Delta 7405, what do you mean? I thought it was a plane, but it's a, some kind of experiment? <laughs> Excuse me, but I really need to get to the bottom of this. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Zombies? Why is it always zombies with this game? <gasps> Again, I'm getting really strong forest vibes. It's like 
this facility brought down 7405 so that they could use the survivors to experiment on? Am I just making my own stupid story right now? I don't know, I got a shotgun. I can do whatever I want. Okay, we got a bunch of buttons. Strict press all buttons policy. Oh, okay. Was that bad? I don't know if that was bad. Just keep pressing buttons. <laughs> I think I just turned on the lights. Probably not the end of the world. I can't get over how big this level actually is. Like, it's been going on for ages, and as far as I can tell, it's gonna keep going. Uh, I don't really want to waste a shot. Okay, maybe I can, like, two for one. There we go. <laughs> keep pressing all the buttons. D don't, no, don't, don't get up. Don't get up. You just stay there. You, you calm, calm down. You just chill. <laughs> am I wearing red, or am I just covered in blood? Maybe a little both? I'm like some weird shotgun Santa. Ho, oh, ho, oh, holy crap. Yeah, it's blood. It's really strange that there will be a local in with the zombies. I assumed that the locals attacked this facility, but maybe they were being fed to the zombies? Or maybe they did attack and then they just don't know what zombies are. They thought to themselves, yeah, look, more researchers. Let's break into this room and kill them. And hit them with my stone axe. <laughs> Didn't quite work out for them. I don't even understand how these researchers lost. Clearly, they had the ability to win. <laughs> how many buttons am I gonna have to press? I feel like I'm launching a nuke. In all reality, at this point, it very well could be. <laughs> this level is just so expansive and I still haven't found any keys. Can you just not? I don't have many shotgun blasts left, guys. Put me some slack. Oh, that doesn't look good. No, no, um, okay, I, I would rather kick you in the mustache and go down there and fight Tentacle Boy, that's for sure. <gasps> oh, crap. Oh, this level flooded and then froze over. Weird. So this might have happened a while ago. There's, there's really no telling I wanted to be on top of the vent. Jesus Christ. <gasps> no surprise tentacles in my butt, thank you very much. Oh, why do you need to yell in my ear like that? Uh, that might be what feeding looks like. Oh, come on. No, I, I'm gonna pass on that. That's a hard pass. You can get lasered and you can get lasered. Yeah, you're not the only ones with fancy pants little abilities. That's for freaking sure. Get wrecked, you stupid crab thing. Please tell me it's dead. I think it's, I think it's dead. I can't finger gun it anymore, so I'm gonna assume that it's dead. Anybody else want some? Good, great. Okay, will, will you stop falling over here, you gooey guys? <laughs> I do not know how I feel about this. Okay, yup, this, this is probably what happened to the rest of the survivors, to be honest. We're not gonna find any friendly faces around here, so we might as well just puree them all. Again, I really wish I had a blue key. Like, did I miss something? I don't think so. <laughs> We've seen places for red keys and blue keys. I, I'm kind of just stuck with dragging my balls through these vents. Oh, red key. Thank you. That should come in handy. Uh, I don't think I can get out through here. No. He literally crowbarred himself in and then froze to death. Maybe? Ooh, there's, there's something over there, but can't get this out of the way. No, okay, well, whatever. We got a key, see where this opens up. Uh, we might have a problem. I don't think I can get back to where the red doors are. I, mean, I, I clearly can't hop up there. And then there's nothing else down here. So I have to be, oh, missing something, like a button? That do anything? I'm hoping it did so. I've pressed a lot of buttons that haven't done anything. After spending the last 15 minutes fiddling through all the pockets that I blew up from space, I realized that there's actually a blue key in a locker, so now I should be able to get through here. <gasps> I was really worried that I was stuck there for a second. Not so much. Ooh, friendly face. Okay, well, first of all, press all buttons. Hope that we don't kill the friendly face. Oh, that's probably not good, right? Hey, uh, oh, 
Um, I'm gonna get to you in just a second. For now, I'm, I'm trying not to have the crab blow my face off. Oh, please, please die. Please don't be like this. Good? It was easier than I thought it would be. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of there, chief. Just, just a second. Maybe, possibly, I don't know, man. I don't know what I'm doing at all. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, that would, uh, that would cause some mutations for sure. I don't want to open this door. <laughs> oh, yeah, didn't, didn't want to do that. Okay, so, so that's not good. Lady, are you kidding me right now? <laughs> do you have any idea how difficult it was to stab all of these monsters in the face? Like, the least you could have done is left your little hidey hole to distract them. Hello? Can you even hear me right now? I don't think she can. She's literally filled up to her eyes with terror piss. It's like I'm yelling at her underwater. What on earth? Oh, that is probably not good for my testicles. Uh, it's really concerning that a bunch of the locals, the, the natives, the Eskimo, I don't know what to call them. It's really concerning that all of the hooded folk are now mutating the further in I go. They still seem to not enjoy the scientist's company. Strange. Okay, well, we've got more buttons. I'm just gonna keep pressing all the buttons and hope that one of them brings me home. <laughs> it's gotta be a good button around here somewhere. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Watch them all do absolutely nothing. They're working the lights or something like that. <laughs> We've got another crab monster. Oh, I really don't want to go down there. Okay, well, we don't have much of a choice. Get wrecked, nerds! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's a really inconveniently placed toilet. I can't imagine that they really thought that through. I'm just gonna run for it. You know what, screw you guys. Yeah, you know what, you could take a dip. Oh crap, I might have to take a dip. Oh, yellow, yellow key, got there, excuse me. Coming through, oh crap, can't, can't kick you, have to sever your limb? <laughs> you wanna call it that? This is so freaking cool. It's a little choppy, but I've never seen anything like this in Paint the Town Reds. It's a couple of things now that are just brand new in this game. It's super impressive to see people innovating. We've got another key. It's good. I haven't been able to go back. I definitely can't make that jump. No, I, I gotta go here. Always forward, never back. Hi, hi. I would like to be your friends. Uh, what you doing here? Maybe they're into it, I guess. Listen, if, if you want to tase his balls, I'm all for that. I'm, I'm just trying to figure out what's going on around here. Oh, yup. Yup, would much rather an AK. Yeah, that works for me. Okay, I'm good. I'm ready. Let's just uh, open this up and do whatever it is we're doing. You're just gonna hang out here, aren't you? Why are so many people napping under the circumstances? Lady, wake up! There's a gun in your head. I guess since I have a Crayola box full of different key cards, I might as well be the one to lead the charge. Okay, got ourselves another blue door. Please tell me you're not alive. Oh, of course you're alive. Oh crap, it's a boss? No, 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 no. Come on, gun. I can't aim the gun, I can only show the skin and it blasted me in half. <laughs> no. I have to go all the way back to the train. No, I, I, can't. I can't. It took me 45 minutes just to get to here. What exactly are you two looking at? Okay, you know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Paint the Town Red, guys. This level may be the most impressive level I've ever seen. I gotta say, it's wild. Like, it, it feels like I'm playing a completely different game. And if you guys wanna see me return to it, I could always work my way back to here and then start the next episode if you're interested in that kind of thing. I don't know how much more there is of it or if this person has made anything else, but you know, be sure to leave a like in the video, leave a comment letting me know, and maybe I'll return to get blasted in half again. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.